Hello Scapers, my name is Kaidios and welcome to the Fox Den. This video guide will walk you through the most efficient way to train your fire making from level 1 all the way to level 99 as a free to play regular account or as a free to play Iron Man account. Please be sure to slap the like button to turn it from grey to blue, hit the subscribe button to change it from red to grey, and also ring the bell icon so you can stay up to date when new videos are posted. With that being said, let's get right into it. From levels 1 to 15, no matter what account type you are, you'll be fire making normal logs. If you're a regular account type, buy 97 logs from the Grand Exchange for around 5k GP. Once you have them, take your tinderbox and 27 normal logs and position your tinderbox in the middle of the inventory screen much like I have here. Run east of the Grand Exchange, just slightly outside the Grand Exchange walls, and start your first fire on the tile I have labeled Fire. While fire making in the Grand Exchange, you can use either of the two tiles labeled Fire to start with. When you're fire making, click order is important to minimize the distance between your tinderbox and your logs. For best practices, click the tinderbox first, then the logs in the top left corner, then click the next log and then the tinderbox. Proceed to then click the bottom right log, then the log just to the left, and then on the tinder box. You'll want to follow an outside in type of pattern when you burn your logs for the most efficient mouse pathing possible. Once you do it a few times, you'll get the hang of it quickly. Feel free to pause or slow down the video if you need to get a better understanding of how this is done. Once you've completed a full inventory of logs, you'll be right next to the bank to withdraw a fresh 27 logs for your next fire making session. A card will be on the screen now to my 1 to 99 efficient woodcutting guide, and I highly recommend you watch this video and come back to this one once you've finished. This video will tell you the best and most efficient ways to chop down trees in the free to play game. After you have a full inventory of normal logs, you'll head to the tile labeled fire, which is just to the east of the Draenor village bank. Follow the same mouse click progression and burn all of your logs. Once you're done, you'll be relatively close to the normal tree area to obtain more logs. One thing to note is when you level up, you may accidentally start a log burn, but the action never ends up completing. Make sure once you level up and this happens to you, check the ground to make sure you don't miss a log. You'll follow the same exact procedure of fire making at the Grand Exchange, doing the same mouse clicking routine. From levels 15 to 30, you'll burn oak logs. Buy 293 oak logs from the Grand Exchange for around 16.4k. Really no fancy thrills here. This won't take too terribly long, and you'll reach level 30 in no time. Again, same thing here for all free-to-play Iron Man account types as well. Head back to Draenor Village, start your line of fires on the tile marked Fire, and light them all up. Restock your logs from the oak tree, which is just to the east of the Draenor Village bank. I think you can see why this is a relatively simple skill in the game, but as a free-to-play regular account type, You'll be burning willow logs from levels 30 to 45. You'll need to buy 714 willow logs from the Grand Exchange for around 15k GP in total. You know where to go at this point, so burn those logs and you'll hit level 45 fire making in no time. At this point, for all free to play Ironmen, the best way to train your fire making is to burn all the willow logs you receive during the 99 woodcutting grind. You'll be burning willow logs for the rest of your fire making training up to level 99 accordingly. If you do not intend on training rune crafting utilizing the rune essence mines, then follow this method. You may chop your willows anywhere that you'd like, however I prefer the willows just south of Remington. Fire make all of the willow logs you receive on the spot labeled fire. Then chop up some more willows and repeat the process. In order to go from levels 30 to 99 fire making, you'll need to burn a total of 192,905 willow logs. This will be a Leong grind to be sure, but I wish you the best of luck adventurer. If you plan on using the rune essence mines to train your rune crafting at some point in time, you'll need to bank all of the willow logs that you chop. I strongly recommend chopping your willow logs in Draenor Village as it's very close to a bank. Obviously, if you are a free to play Ultimate Iron Man, you'll not have access to a bank, so simply follow the instructions from the prior clip. 
Once you have all of your 192,905 willow logs banked, you'll be lighting your logs starting in Varak East Bank on the way to the rune essence mines. Following this process will result in zero time fire making whilst you mine your rune essence. As I have not done this method myself, I'll be leaving a link to Tanner Dino's video on how to properly fire make in this way. He has a lot of other fantastic videos on his channel when it comes to free to play efficiency, and I highly recommend you give some of his stuff a look. At level 45 fire making, you'll unlock the ability to burn maple logs. You may either train your fire making from levels 40 to 60 using maple logs, or train your fire making from levels 45 all the way to 99 using the maple logs. If training from 45 to 60 fire making, you'll need 2,123 maple logs, which will cost you around 21.2k GP. And if you're training your fire making from 45 to 99 fire making, you'll need 129,730 maple logs, which will cost you around 1.3 million GP. As always, go to the spot labeled fire, which is to the east of the Grand Exchange, just past the walls, and fire make as you normally would. The most efficient option for fire making would be to train from level 60 to 99 using U logs. In order to reach level 99 fire making, you'll need to buy 72,919 U logs from the Grand Exchange, which will cost you around 16.4 million GP in total. The U logs yield much higher XP rates and are the most efficient way to train up your fire making as a free to play runescaper. However, they do cost significantly more than their maple counterpart. If you don't have the GP or simply don't want to spend the 16.4 million GP to train your fire making skill, the maple logs are an excellent way to train up to 99 fire making also. Fun fact. Fire making was the first ever skill I managed to get a 99 in back in the days when I was a pay to play runescaper. Back then, I used maple logs to reach level 99, and it's interesting to see that that really hasn't changed all those years since. Anyways, best of luck to you on your 99 fire making grind. And with that, this video is now concluded. Thanks so much for making it through to the end of the video. Please like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell icon if this video guide helped you. Also, if you'd like to join the Fox Den Discord server and follow my Twitter page, the links will be in the description below. Lastly, I do stream live on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook Gaming every Tuesday and Thursday. So, feel free to hop in and say hi. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya!